Are we now about to talk about one of the most manly series of all fucking time? Yes, I am talking about Claymore. Pretty much give you a, a quick summary of what Claymore is about. The world is completely surrounded with these deadly demonic creatures known as Yoma, and pretty much how humanity is able to deal with them with this friend. There exists an organization that send out these warriors known as Claymore, who are surprisingly all women who are sent out by the organization to deal with the threat to humanity and kill them. And surprisingly, the only way to deal with these monsters that, that the actual claymores themselves have to have half Yoma blood and parts injected into them so they can even fight these monsters or even detect their presence or known as Yoki Aura. The story focuses on one of these claymores known as Claire on her journey to seek out revenge on a certain Yoma. However, for spoiler reasons, I don't want to tell you which one. And ends up meeting a young boy named Rocky who wants to travel with Claire and picks him up due to a sentimental reason and which, again, is we're going into spoilers territory. Now, the series, what I like about it is like how much you both get action and story. The first four episodes of Claymore are very episodic and very build up to Claire and her like character and what it really means to be a Claymore and then the sad dark truth of what happened to these girls whilst becoming Claymore and then just building up to having one of the most amazing revelations I've seen in anime. Claymore, our main character, is a very like close off character, never really trusting anyone or, or even her comrades, the Claymores, as you see like, the Claymores themselves are very closed off and really have their own goals and really don't care what happens to each other until a boy known as Rocky appears. She actually opens up Claire a little bit more throughout the series but even still throughout like, the series she is very closed off and very keeps to herself sort of character and what I really like like about is that she is a very tragic character that has a very like dark and deep story to it and becomes even more badass throughout the series progress. Rocky is a little bit annoying at first at the start of the other main character but as, as he sort of gets invited in as Claire's cook but he does bring a lot more of the human side to Claire and I really do like the progression between both Claire and Rocky and then it went a bit like a brother and sister relationship to what the fuck and it really shows like how much Claire he does care for Claire and also the other claim was this series if you're an action fanatic you will love this you will absolutely be enthralled by the action as this series goes down between the battles of the Claymore and the Yoma. Plus you get to show in the world of how dark and gritty their life is of being clone Claymore, the tragedies and just how ridiculously strong these monsters is. Also as well, I'm just gonna show you a little live reaction that I had of one of the episodes just to show you how fucking amazing Claymore. Is this how crazy she is even without using any like Yoki? She hasn't even gotten like awakened or anything. What the fuck? Oh my god, that right face. Yo, Teresa, go fuck him up. Die. Dude. Dude, Priscilla, Pris uh, Priscilla is like just there, fucking in tears, screaming for her dad. Oh my god, she putting pity on this bitch, saying like, you're not even worth it. Oh my god, she's turning into a monster. Dude. Wait. Holy shit, did she, she just cut her fucking arms off! <gasps> I don't know! This fuck. Oh my god, she's transforming even more! <gasps> oh, she's the bitch in the opening! Yeah, it's too fucking hell, like. Claim off a motherfucking win! No, you didn't. I think you needed to set up more. Dude, that shit was fucking crazy. Having a Yoma is bad enough, but finding out there's even more strongest monsters in the series, like awakening beings, creatures of the abyss, and just even more crazier characters, and the price to pay of being a Claymore itself, which I really like as shown in the episode about the Black Card episode. My favorite parts of the anime uh, definitely was the Teresa of the Faint Smile arc and the War in the North. However, being an ongoing manga, it did have a filling ending, which does occur during episode 22, which I believe is during the fight with Rigaldo. And it just such is a shame because the filler ending, acceptable, but it's very lackluster and it does feel a little bit bullshit at some certain moments when, especially with what happened with the Rogalo fight. And my favorite character throughout the series definitely has to be Claire because of her story, like when you find out about her a tale of woe, Teresa of the Snake Smile because she just has one of the most amazing arcs to her. And I really just do like the character and what she goes through throughout her entire arc. And overall, I say she's one of the most badass women in this series. Lethal of the West because she just teaches the Claymores how powerless they are truly are to Yoma and other beings and I just love how much he 
fucks around with the Claymore and his overall is a great freaking antagonist. And then also as well, Undine! Undine is freaking manliness of all manliness. This bitch knows how to get shit done. Hedge as fuck, gotta say, really freaking appreciate her. And Undine, she's a fucking badass. There, there are other Claymores as well, but there are numbers. There's Flora, there's Helen, there's Daenerys, there's like, like Ilya. There's all kinds of Claymores throughout this series. And I really like another thing about Claymore, is that all the fighters are of women and then also as well most of the people they fight against are men which is all because of battle of sexes because normally throughout series it's normally men doing out it and it's like kind of sexist between like a lot of mangas like oh like the uh, women mostly in series are just like you know being rescued or you know there's just nothing but you know comic relief or just showing off the this claymore doesn't really have that it shows you know how badass these women can be and how much you know they can take on, they can take pain, they can take freaking action, they can take all the freaking roles that a man can do, and I really do like that. However, now I'm going to go into the issues I really have with this series, and there's small little nitpicks. Like, first one I said, it does go into a filler ending uh, right about episode 22, which, like I said, is lackluster, and I really did not like. Apparently, as well, there could have been an amazing point in the manga where it could have ended off during a time skip or something that I've heard about, and... Overall, like I think they should have just ended that, and then potentially they left out at all chances of doing another season of Claymore, unless they do a like, reboot like Hunter Hunter or um, Full Metal Alchemist. And then another thing as well, which is just the tiniest nitpicks, is that this series doesn't really have comedy at all. I mean, I love comedy. I mean, not not everything has to be you know slice of life comedy, you know romance and all that. But it is nice every now and then to see a little bit of comedy. There are some parts where it is, you know, a little tag playing and all that. Even like a, sh uh, a hardcore badass Satan series like Berserk does have a comedy, um, comedy relief character like Puck, which is like a relief character for the series. Although it, it kind of works in its favor as well for the Claymore, as it shows, you know, how dark and gritty this world is and what it's like to live in this world of Claymore. Overall, Claymore is a must watch series, it is enjoyable very worth the work, it's dirt fucking cheap, just get it guys, if you haven't seen it, just get it, and then as well for the freaking manga as well, I'm gonna pick it up, I really want to see the manga, how it ends, I think it's like volume 11 after you've seen the anime, you can pick it up from there and see it, but I'm gonna pick up the manga from the start, I'm probably, I've seen like a few chapters online, but I really do want to like just read this in volume format, have it in my hands, just read it, I think there's like about 24 volumes out at the moment, and what I'd overall give for the series, 8.5 out of 10. Only the filler ending and overall just a few little nitpicks I've had with the series. Overall it has great stuff, great animation, the music is so godly, I love the music in Claymore. Very well done, great ass characters, great action, just overall it's really enjoyable. Only just let down by a little bit by the ending and just a few little nitpicks of this annoying plug right here. But that's all for me, I want to thank you very much for watching as always. And remember, I'll see you guys next time.